What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Toronto with Leaf Johnson Ford and today we're talking about the all new 2024 F-150. No sleep me more, more, more. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, guys, here it is, the 24 F-150. Some of the major changes include changes to the headlights, grills, and even different wheel options. But before we start running down, guys, this is gonna be a brief overview of all the major changes on the 24 F-150, not just specifically this STX model that we have right here. So I'm gonna run through XL all the way up to Raptor. So before we run through those different changes for 24, let's run through the model lineup. So up on the model lineup, we've got the F-150 XL. This is the entry-level F-150 and these headlights and this grill will stay on the XL and STX. When you move up to the XLT package, the headlamps stay the same and the grill changes along with other options, but right now we're just focusing on appearance. The last trim level to see these headlamps with another grill change is the trimmer package. Now the headlamp and grill designs were changed for the Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and the Raptor. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. So mine is actually the Tremor package. And another fun thing about the front appearance is the F-150 Tremor and Raptor get the option for the modular front bumper. So if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna pull it up right here. I've already searched it. And it's basically the bumper that comes on the Ford Broncos where you can add accessories such as light bars and winches. I scroll past it. This is blue for a moment. <laughs> So Ford actually showed this off in their 24 F-150 unveil when they brought all the trucks out. And when they brought the trimmer out right here, you can see this is my favorite front end on the F-150. I like the yellow. Yeah, the fact that with the trimmer package, you get those yellow accents, Caleb. I like how they brought it into the grill and the new lights right here. You see how it's like one solid line. I really like that. Yeah, uh, this, this headlight package with this light right here, and then just that color grill out there, like to me, it just looks, that's my favorite one so far. All right, guys, so for 24, changes in the rear end of the F-150 include the different tail lights, but the big news is actually the Pro-Axis tailgate. This truck does not have the Pro-Axis tailgate, but basically it's cut here and it's a door on a swivel. So when you have a trailer hooked up, you can actually open the tailgate and access the bed without damaging your tailgate by dropping it and hitting the actual trailer. All right, guys, you just don't get America's best selling pickup truck for 47 years and counting without some awesome engine options. Now, new for 24, the standard V6 option is actually being replaced with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 that produces 325 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Now, that's just on the base trim levels. You have other engine options from XL all the way up to Raptor. So let's go inside and talk about those. Now, under the hood, there are some changes as well. The standard V6 engine is replaced by the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 that makes 325 horsepower. So that is now the entry level engine option. Uh, you also get the option, depending on trim level, for the 400 horsepower 5 liter V8, a 400 horsepower twin turbo 3.5 liter V6, and a 400 horsepower hybrid powertrain that consists of a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 and an electric motor, and that is the F-150 Power Boost. Now, if you're looking at the Raptor with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, it puts down 450 horsepower, while the Raptor R variant with the 5.2 liter supercharged V8 puts out 720 horsepower, so about 20 more horsepower in the Raptor R compared to last year's model. Uh, no matter what engine you get, all F-150s come with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Trimmer package comes with 33-inch all-terrain tires, an upgraded suspension, a locking rear differential, and the same four-wheel drive transfer case that is in the Raptor, while the Raptor gets 37-inch tires. So just a little difference in their horsepower and tire sizes. All right, big interior news for 24 F-150. Uh, to me, is the digital gauge cluster. So it is not analog. And as you can see, right when you open the door, you get this really cool kind of cinematic CG display of F-150 before you start it up. And when you do start it up, let's get this puppy rolling, built for tough. You can see your, your RPMs and your speedometer, everything is digital now. You have your messages in the screen. You can control, you can look at your temperature, your oil pressure, your trans temp, and of course your fuel. You also get a 12 inch infotainment screen as well as standard. So those are some big changes for 2024 F-150. All right, so let's talk about towing. So chances are if you're buying an F-150, you're gonna be towing or hauling something eventually. And in the towing department, the F-150 is no slouch. So when equipped, 
This is very specific here. When equipped with the optional 400 horsepower twin turbo 3.5 liter V6, it can tow up to 13,500 pounds. Going with the five liter V8 means that the maximum towing capacity is 13,000 pounds. Uh, the hybrid model, which is the hybrid and V6, can tow up to 12,700 pounds. Payload capacities, where you can put it in the bed, it maxes out at 2,455 pounds. Outback, the F-150's bed offers an optional onboard generator that provides up to 7.2 kilowatts of power to support electricity needs at the job site, or let's face it, Caleb at tailgate parties, go UT. This is a really good update here for 2024 F-150 and that's infotainment and connectivity. Uh, you get a 12 inch infotainment display or yeah, infotainment. I, I don't know, I was gonna say entertainment. <laughs> it runs standard with sync for software. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard along with Wi-Fi hotspot, navigation, Sirius XM radio and a B&O sound system as options. All right guys, there you have it. Those are all the major changes on the 2024 F-150. If you have any questions on any of the trim levels from XL to Raptor, let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about this STX, let us know as well. And guys, this is YouTube. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.